Welcome to my weekly Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today's video is all about paper crafting. I'm here to share how easy it is to make a 3D project. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and I would love to see you shop with me. Hi everyone, look at this super cute little box I have to share. It actually is a fold flat box. And I have the wood texture paper on here. And I really kind of liked it. It's very different. Look at how cute that is. I even put wood on the bottom so as to make um, it a complete cube of wood. <laughs> it says because adulting is hard and then there's that burlap ribbon underneath. So I wanted to share with you how to make it. I have a piece of cardstock that is nine and a half by seven and a half on the long side. I'm going to score at a half, three, five, seven and a half, flip it round, a half, two and a half, five, and seven. I'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines. All right, so now we've got a cut off pieces. So uh, this is, let's see, there's strips around all three edges and or like half inch pieces here, these half inch pieces. So I'm going to take this section completely off. So the rectangle plus, well, the two rectangles, I guess, four in total. Okay. And now I'm just going to cut up all three. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this in half and I am going to wedge. I'll do the same for this. And then even here. Okay. So now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So after all is said and done, this is what you should have. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to put my adhesive of choice on that little lip. And then I'm just going to close the box like that. The reason why I do that, you can see that I didn't cut the paper exactly. So I'm just going to take my scissors right now and cut up so that it's very flush. You won't actually even be able to tell that there's a seam there. All right, so moment of truth. Ta -da! Okay, so this is the front. So we need a piece of designer series paper that is two and three eighths by two and three eighths. This is the same pack of paper uh, the wood textures paper. So I'm going to need one for the same same size as the back or as the front. 
And then I will have three pieces. Now I could have done four um, for the bottom, but this time I didn't do that. Uh, three pieces, one and seven eighths by two and three eighths. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.